win. The, the, um, there weren't many star players in blue and white stripes this afternoon from, from what I saw. I think the whole team knew that uh, Kareem Harris was our best player by a long chalk and they doubled up on him and, and marked him out of the game really well. So unfortunately for us, that, um, that kind of screwed the game over for us a little bit. But um, Julian Borner at the back played quite well, I thought, and Morgan Fox had a steady game. Uh, have you been a Wednesday fan all your life? No, it's past year, really. I've been to games from past year and I don't think I've really I've seen, I've seen one yet. So. <laughs> oh, right, so uh, I've it. how many games have you seen? Yeah, maybe like three or four, maybe. Oh. Yeah, they're the sixth in the league for a reason, I suppose. So, so will they get to the playoffs? Not a chance. Not on that showing. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'd love to be able to say something different. Oh, but uh, no. Uh, yeah, uh, a lot of fans were really heartbroken on the Stoke match. Uh. I think that's kind of like led on into this game. Really, I think we're still suffering from the hangover of that game. Um, that must have been a, a, a late blow. That we, we played a decent away performance and to. To throw away three points like that is, I think they're still suffering with that to be honest. In my case, yes, I've been kind of used to the, uh, the disappointments of being a Sheffield Wednesday fan. I've had 15, 20 years of uh, disappointment with the odd, the odd high like chucked in there. The Carlos season was particularly decent and the season under Paul Sturrock in 05, that was pretty good. But other than that, it's been a decade and a, and a bit of uh, dross to be <laughs> brutally so, honest. So is there a chance in the transfer window that uh, something might be able to happen there? I hope so. I hope they can send Jacob Murphy back to Newcastle because he's been shocking. Um, he, he, it looks like he doesn't even want to be here to be honest so if we can just sign maybe a couple of young hungry players with a bit of pace that actually have a bit of passion and actually want to be here. All right, is, that, to, is that the feeling of the, a lot of the fans? I don't know, it's my feeling. I think he's, he's just a typical kind of lone player, doesn't look interested to me. Clearly got a bit of ability but he's just not showing it at all at the moment which is very disappointing. Br uh, Brighton away is it in the cup? So yeah. we'll, probably, we'll make a lot of changes out of thought and uh, you never know, hopefully the, the guys that come into the team can um, press a claim for a regular place but um, anything can happen in a cup game I guess, can't yeah, it? Yeah, is it possible they can win? Or... So a lot of it comes down to what kind of a team Brighton are going to put out. If they, put, if they take it seriously, the cup, then it looks unlikely we'll be able to get much out of there but if, they, if, they, if they're not bothered about it and, and we take a decent team then anything's possible.